Now let's move on to the question 3 and this is the question. Solve cotangent squared x is equal to 4 over 9 cotangent x where x is more than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 2 pi. So the better way of solving this is uh, by uh, putting all of the terms on one side and make sure that the other side is equal to 0. So by doing that, this is what it's going to look like. And then, as you can see, for those two terms, cotangent x is common, so you can factor out cotangent x, and the result is this, cotangent x multiplied to cotang cotangent x minus 4 over 9 is equal to 0. So each factor now can be equated to 0, and then you will have cotangent x equals 0, and the other factor is cotangent x minus 4 over 9 is equal to 0. So we will have two equations. So since this is cotangent, we can use the reciprocal identity wherein cotangent x is equal to 1 over tangent x. Now note that 0 is can be written as 0 over 1. So by having this, we can also say, or this is equivalent to tangent x is equal to 1 over 0. And you know that 1 over 0 is undefined. So solving this now, uh, so what will be the values of x wherein its tangent is undefined? So what angles are those? So if you remember the graph of tangent, so this is where uh, your vertical asymptotes are and that would be x is equal to uh, pi over 2 and x is equal to 3 pi over 2. So uh, take note that the angle x must be in radian mode so your answers must also be in pi radian mode. Alright, now moving on to the next uh, equation cotangent x minus 4 over 9 equals 0. So you will have 1 over tangent x is equal to 4 over 9. So this is also equivalent to tangent x is equal to 9 over 4. So if you flip this, this must also be flipped. Okay, so x now is equal to tangent inverse 9 over 4, and you will get x is equal to 1.15. So from your calculator, you can solve then x is equal to tangent inverse 9 over 4, 1.15. Just make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. So, of course, there's another solution in which, uh, so it is positive, so tangent x is positive. That means your angle x must be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. So this is our basic angle. So for us to find the other angle in quadrant 3, so pi plus 1.15 is equal to 4.29. So your answers, if they are real numbers like this, they must be rounded off to three significant figures. Therefore, we have four answers. The solutions are 1.15, pi over 2, 4.29, and 3 pi over 2. All right, so um, with this, I believe you are now ready for the next quiz. Okay, so thank you so much for listening, and good luck.